fun. With that, officials from YSU, Humtown Products, and America Makes celebrated the start of production of this one-ton S-Max printer. It's very exciting to see that this can happen in, in this area. Mark LaMancha is the CEO of Humtown Products, which manufactures sand molds used in the metals casting process. It was originally built to do prototyping and can be used uh, in areas where the tooling cost would be too high limited runs like you know 30 to 50 to maybe even 100 pieces. About 100 gathered at Humtown's new building in the World Trade Park in Latonia to see the printer in action. It's the first and only 3D sand printer in the state of Ohio. But I'll tell you this much, it's just the first. There's more coming. Brett Connor is the director of advanced manufacturing workforce initiatives at YSU. We're going to bring this technology in here, have the opportunity for small and medium business manufacturers, even large manufacturers, to leverage this technology and then expand here in Northeast Ohio. It's 3D printing sand, so you can make molds and cores for metal casting. The biggest advantage is that with the old conventional technology, every time you made a mold, you were wearing out the tooling. So you were always having to check for tolerances and differences and wear. With this, every part you print is always the same shape. Purchase of the printer was made possible through an Ohio Third Frontier grant awarded to YSU and America Makes. This is what matters, and this machine is really what matters. What takes place here in Northeast Ohio, what takes place in this region, how the impact of this equipment, not just for the R&D that it's going to support, not just with the training, but it's, it's the production, it's, the, it's this kind of activity that takes place that really moves manufacturing forward. Besides helping manufacturers, the printer is also a valuable tool for YSU students learning about additive manufacturing. I've been doing additive for about a year and a half in research, but more specifically additive that involves casting. So the, fa the entire foundry process was new to me, and I've learned a lot, and there's still way more to learn, but I think additive is a very good uh, backbone, and it's going to become more involved with the casting and foundry process. This is one uh, very capable tool in our toolbox when it comes to manufacturing. And at YSU, we're starting a four-year manufacturing engineering degree this coming fall. And we'll look at a whole range of, of manufacturing technologies, but additive manufacturing is a significant contributor. While the S-Max is currently the only printer of its kind in the state, La Mancha says there's room in the building for one more. And this is a, a world trade zone, so it, it entertains the opportunity for exporting this product to other countries right out of the Columbiana County Port Authority.